We are early morning here. New moon. Oh, I didn't even put none of that in the title, y'all. New moon and all of that going on. Happy birthday, Sagittarians. Yes. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? I have been up so energized. So we are almost to the exact new moon. We're at 22 degrees, master number, moon in Sagittarius. We have Mercury in 20 degrees. Sun is in 23 degrees, Sagittarius. Um, Venus is in 28 degrees, Scorpio, and was playing footsie with Juno, um, marriage asteroid in Scorpio. We got Mars in Aries, which is trining exactly Mercury right now, which is conjunct Sun and moon so new moon with mercury and mars aspect aspecting it we also have neptune that's been making a square to the sagittarian energy but that's not too bad because you know sag is or uh, you're uh, 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 neptune's in pisces the modern day ruler of pisces but it is a sibling sign of sagittarius because they're both anciently ruled by jupiter so we just got a lot of dreaminess going on, Mercury going on, Mars going on, got uh, Sag everywhere, Scorpio doing its own thing. So we got Jupiter and Saturn all booed up, about to go into Aquarius together on the solstice. Like, it's a lot going on, y'all. Let me come back to the chat. Okay. We good? Okay, let me make sure this is not too long. There we go. So, okay, we're gonna put some cards out. There we go. Okay, so we have um, we have um, scallop seashell for group A. So for this general pick a card, I'm going to do like what's coming the rest of Sagittarius season. We already did a new moon read yesterday, and I'm going to try to kiki re up that one and put it on the channel. We did that on the live. I also have like the hugest <laughs> eclipse reading coming out. It's almost done exporting, then I have to upload it into YouTube. So it's been taking a minute here. So that is also on deck okay so we have for the sagittarius season read we have scallop seashell we have aragonite and we have lithium quartz as the options i have some little decks of oracle and um playing cards over here and then we'll live shuffle some gemstone cards and fortune cards on top maybe throw some oh i have dominoes here because you know Sag sagittarius season likes a gamble we have some charms and some dominoes so we'll see what we'll do hey d dave hey christine <laughs> hey so yes we had a very very long um, ambiotic <laughs> eclipse video I did for this solar eclipse today um, yes it'll drink a lot of water y'all um, know if you make like eclipse or new moon water it's super super strong especially when there's um, full moon new moons and fire signs it can already give you a headache drinking that water just because it's fire power y'all really is <laughs> So if you're making it just because some people are just like, yeah, I make water on everyone and they're new and they don't quite know like, you know, all the nuances of it. So just know, really look at the properties of the eclipse, of the fire moon, of, you know, Sagittarius. It's making an aspect to Aries. It's going to be mad intense. So um, if you're really calling in those energies, I wouldn't just casually, oh, let me take a sip of this moon water later on unless you were really wanting some kick ass, <laughs> make me work on my life kind of, you you know vibe you see what i'm saying maybe some little um libra moon rose quartz water you can sip a little more often but eclipse aspect to mars neptune mercury fire power water you might want to just save it for special occasions so that's just a little <laughs> that's a little witchy auntie tip okay but um i made some uh on a sag uh, eclipse before and I remember I drank it my head said douche 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 I just took a sip I said whoa whoa my eyes were blinking whoa what's going on it was so powerful this is too much power okay mm -hmm. you can drink moon water depending on the crystals that you have in it but yeah and you can taste flavors y'all you can taste flavors in the moon water you're like all I did was set this out but each moon tastes different I promise you it does 
So, oh, I forgot to tell you. So I need to tell you guys a story. Story time real quick. So let me put these here for those people who are like, fine, then let me see my crystals. So these are the options. So guys, um, it's non-scary, but it's about a ghost. Um, <laughs> so what had happened was, you know, when you're like medium and stuff, you end up tuning things down to such a low level so you can think and function that you ignore things sometimes, right? So I had always heard, it's it's not even in my house, I think they're connected to someone uh, joining on the backside, but they would, um, you know, so when I was in a certain room, I would hear <laughs> sometimes, but what I would hear would be like, fetch, fetch, fetch fetch and like mean girls and I'm just like okay whatever like I would tune it out so much it was almost like it was just a random thought right and I was just like mean girls fetch so fetch all this okay whatever so <laughs> So then I went and did a, you know, I'm always do I always do these little mini de deliveries. Hey, stimulate your local economy. Um, <laughs> and I, um, I ordered so like I never get these, but I ordered toaster strudels, right? <laughs> And the ones on the, the website were like normal ones, right? And then they come and they are, I put this out so you guys can see this. It's ridiculous. I was like, what the heck? And it's so funny because I always take things and like spray down and clean it, right? When it comes in the groceries. And the room I took it in is the room where I would hear that that spirit that I wasn't even paying attention to like fully. I'm so, so sorry, no disrespect. But, you know, I wasn't even paying attention to it like fully. Like, oh, the spirit is just sitting here talking about Mean Girls. So I <laughs> open it. And somehow, y'all, how did I get Mean Girls Edition Toaster Strudels? Not sponsored. And the box says fetch on it because look at this. <laughs> when I tell you, look at this frosting. I said, I am, what in the radioactive nail salon? What is this? No. Okay. I barely don't even eat these things. I don't know why. I just suddenly was like, let me get some Toaster Strudel. I never even liked them when I was a kid. And I said, let me get... <laughs> And I look at the box, it says fetch, and then I heard that spirit, and I said, oh, it was you, and I was cracking up, so the box even says, like, it has a free ticket on it to watch Mean Girls, um, a code for, like, a fan, something, I don't know, some, some streaming service, a free, a free code to watch Mean Girls, it has fetch written on it in icing on the box, and there was something else, I forget, and I was just like, oh my gosh, and then this little spirit was just like so proud of itself, it was like so fetch, so fetch, and I was just like, you're really obsessed with Mean Girls, like you literally brought me these special edition, I, I didn't even know these existed, like what in the weird mukbang is this? Um, <laughs> what in the ASMR mukbang is this? And you just brought me a, literally a free little code to watch Mean Girls because you're just really serious about this. And so I was cracking up because I was remembering that meme that used to go around that was like, what's with all the ghosts being from, you know, 1871 or whatever? Like, I want a ghost from the 2000s that screams, it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> at night so I was cracking up because I was thinking about that meme I was like well here's one that likes mean girls I don't know <laughs> so fetch so fetch I was like let me show so I put that there so I remember to tell you guys because that was a couple days ago and I kept forgetting yes so <laughs> yeah so there's the story I had to tell y'all <laughs> Um, yes, and you know what? I think I just uh, recycled the code too, so I didn't even watch it, but um, I'll have to, <laughs> to put it on sometime. Um, but I was like, you're not even in my house. You're over there. But they were just so proud like that they did it because they kind of came through for a minute, and then they just went away. I was like, wow. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, girl. <laughs> so fetch. So fetch. Um, <laughs> all right, if you chose Scallop Seashell, Let's see what your what your Sagittarius season messages are. So we have some pre-pulled here, universal messages and the playing cards. And I also mix up the piles too so that we don't have just like the same one, two, three kind of vibes. Um, for those of us who get stuck picking piles, we're going to go ahead and shuffle some fortune cards, crystals, um, maybe some charms, and I got dominoes, okay? This is the rest of Sagittarius season, which will end on the solstice, which is like December 21st. Big day, y'all! Okay? <laughs> so what are your messages if you chose the scallop seashell for the rest of Sagittarius? excuse me, the rest of Sagittarius season. Um, again, we did do a new moon reading yesterday. I'll try to re-up that. It was on the live. And then we do have right now, I'm exporting an eclipse um, video that's super long. Please watch all of it. 
<laughs> well, it's like movie long. Okay, most people are just trying to survive group A. I heart you. And let's look at your cards. This is really jumping out to me that it says heart instead of love. So Sagittarius um, season, I think, is reminding you that it's okay not to be 3,000% committal. Um, Sag is really good at like being like, no, I like you this much. Or no, I'm this much invested, not this, this, this much, right? Um, and remembering that maybe you're focused on things that are about your security, um, grounding yourself, things of that nature, and you can't be out there 24 seven, just giving all of your energy, all of your attention to somebody. And you shouldn't have to feel like there's this energy of like, as soon as I meet you, I just have to give you my whole being. As soon as we're becoming acquaintances, I have to act like I'm your best friend. As soon as we're uh, networking, I have to um, act like I'm your financial advisor. You know what I mean? So there's there's levels to relationships. And I think that the rest of Sagittarius season, um, you'll be experiencing wanting to put some of those boundaries in. And you could be experiencing these boundaries from others. And it is the reminder, like, it's been a hard year, okay? So be patient with yourself and with others. When people are needing to step back, people might have to rearrange. Um, you know, they might have wanted to be able to come through in a certain way. They might have to uh, recant that and, you know, do something for their own care and for their own sanity of what they can manage on their plate and stuff. And you might ha have to as well. So, yeah, I feel like also try not to overly read into, um, not in a bad way. It's not like, it's like don't overly read into connections, but value where they're at. I think so many people, they're like, either you worship me and love me no matter what, and I make you upset and go crazy or you're unworthy of connection you know what I mean and there's like so many millions of layers of affection love like in between those two points um, which is why a lot of people are lonely right um, so it's like find all of those different layers just because someone says I heart you and they're not ready to confess everlasting gobstopper love <laughs> <laughs> the gobstopper you know willy wonka love over here just losing it for you doesn't mean that you just throw them away okay so we have <laughs> jack of stars we have queen of uh diamonds nine of hearts nine of stars and the king of spades so what i'm seeing over here um <laughs> What I'm seeing over here is that um, you're definitely getting a lot of messages from spirit and a lot of these are about your security. They're about your wishes and manifestations that you're putting out and they're about overcoming your fears, using your mind power in a way that is healthy. Um, a lot of you are noticing your patterns in your words. You're going to be being very fine um, fine tooth, fine hair with yourself about how you communicate, how you say something to yourself or to others, okay? So it's not going to be so casual that um, you just speak something to yourself because you're wanting to really focus on testing and you're realizing that this is a two-way street with spirit like if i say something i'm creating that you know to my higher self so we go through periods that are a little bit more sensitive sometimes in our manifesting where we really need to we can feel like we, we really need to watch our mouth a little more kind of the example they gave me is like let's say you're in school and you can talk and stuff before the bell you can chat at certain times of class but then when you're doing the test and stuff like psh, you can't talk okay you can't talk to each other at all you can't look at each other because you can get, you know, oh, you flung, you gotta go, out class. So um, know which level of energy you're in. Sometimes when we're really, really connected, like let's say it's like throat chakra to the sky kind of vibe, we can't just be out here saying whatever. Or if we're sitting there in a period where we're doing deep ceremony, we can't be just um, speaking whatever we want, even if we're, you know, we, we went and took a bathroom break or whatever, because you're in the middle of this open ceremony. So if you're in a time where you're really seeking higher meditation, like right now, this is, you know, this is like sacred time, eclipse, new moon, those are the original holidays. Those are the, the holy days, right? Um, and so, w w yeah, watch what you're speaking and creating upon your own head, okay? And watch how, uh, what you're speaking upon others. Again, if you're upset, say oh well I should have this from you I should have that for you um, there's kind of this irritated um, energy here and it's saying bring in that compassion speak manifestations on there talk to people's guides seek um, 
uh, education and insight from spiritual forces. There can also be where there is somebody who could be a good mentor for you. Um, there's kind of the advice here that like there's professionals for that. So there could be where because we have so much access to each other and because we always know someone who does something, right? Oh, I know a mechanic. I know someone who does hair. I know somebody who's a psychic. Um, we can tend to really blur lines with people, forget that everyone's trying to survive just like us, right? And we can put this pressure on them like, okay, I know you run a business like this, but can you just, let me just call you and ask you free advice, right? Let me just ask you this, this, and that. And, um, or we can be where we just feel like we'll listen to anyone who's dabbled in the subject instead of going to the real professional for it. And so therefore we're not getting the best information we can, or we're kind of getting some tainted energy because we're feeling stressed. We're stressing and pressing someone else to obligate them towards us. And it just, you know what I mean? It feels strained. Um, so this is saying seek out and be willing to invest in nines. Okay. Star energy you have in the spirit realm for nines. So that's the nine of hearts, nine of pentacles, nine of swords that you have to try to heal the nine of wands you'll have to try to heal so releasing anxiety and trauma and instead of trying to like force shock people with uh trauma trauma bonding okay crash bonding um realizing your nine of pentacles your nine of cups that we can take time to build up what we need to that it's okay to take time to work on ourselves it's okay to take time to invest in ourselves first therefore we can invest in others it's okay to give other people time to build themselves up so they can invest in us, um, whether that is financially or emotionally or spiritually, um, those are very important themes at this time. You have um, young spirit around, so this could be um, it's a, a young uh, like um, in the spirit realm, okay? So this could be for some of you, this is a child that you will be birthing, okay? And this will be very soon. This will be within the next 13 months, okay? Um, especially if you are earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Mm hmm or if you are dating an air sign Libra Aquarius Gemini you guys might have some water placements but I feel like for Sun and Moon sign it's more um, earth sign for you and air sign for them um, there's also this can be for some of you it's a young uh, like ancestor or someone who crossed over um, in what you would think of as a younger age probably before their 30s or it could be a spirit who's known for being young. For example, there is like um, a legua, like that, like a young spirit. Okay, so stick to your traditions and everything and just know that that's around. Your guides are very strong with you um, throughout Sagittarius season. Your business will be going good. Keep listening to spirit. Um, continue to do what you want and allow yourself to truly believe that you can manifest what you want. You're your own genie. Put it, look, if you can, if you can uh, do it, put your back into it. <laughs> manifest it and then put you back into it okay and you'll be having that uh, it's like if people can create can create whole human beings okay you can get your business off the ground okay and entrepreneur entrepreneurial 2020 okay you can do it um but seek that advice that you need so let's pull some dominoes i'm gonna do it sets in threes Someone does um, beauty because I'm getting like lipstick and nails. Yeah, like lipstick and nails. Um, maybe you had that delayed this year because you wanted to, uh, or you had to, you know, like you wanted to go and do work. Some of you were thinking about becoming some kind of counselor or therapist, like a couple couples counselor, and maybe that's something that got delayed. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of delays when it comes to what you were trying to go to school for, something of that nature. Yeah, and a lot of you, it was about other people. It was about trying to do something that was for um, healing, aiding, guiding, connecting, bringing together other people. It wasn't like something where you would be solitary, like um, on a computer or something, which is what ended up for everyone, right? So a lot of this is very much about dissolving a difficulty or a pain for others. Um, and this could be very widespread because I also got solar. Some of you might have thought about going into renewable energy, um, like solar panel. You're like going in, you're providing a service, you're overcoming an obstacle, and you're bringing the community together. So it could be something that is technology for some of you. A lot of you, though, it's more emotional, mental kind of counseling and healing, physical healing, or it is um, something in beauty, okay? 
but um i'm seeing that I feel like this is for a reason. I feel like there's all of these are disconnected. So I feel like you haven't quite found exactly what it is actually that you want to do. Maybe because you want to go more personal personal on yourself. Maybe because you want to go and maybe take these studies or courses yourself. Or because you already have the diplomas that you need to really do your dream job. But maybe you haven't put the information together. So for example, I would always, um, between using my personality, okay, and um, using my life experience I was very good at translating life experiences on resumes so I would have people wanting to hire me for places and like I didn't go to school for it or nothing I just was like no this is how I know this this is how I can do this like this here's my hard knock life and how I have this experience and wisdom that I do right so you guys might even have the documentation or you have the life experience for certain things that you want to do and you could use some fine-tuning you could use some online like MOOC classes MOO um, where they have like professors from like Berkeley College of Music and stuff that hold these forums that just teach in free videos what they teach for a bajillion dollars at, at the college so um, YouTube University okay things like that but um, some of you will go back to school and that would be great okay um, you will wait until uh, like it's more like it's really past a lot of the quarantine and you'll go back some of you will be doing um, partly there partly not and some of you will just be doing like um, maybe small study groups or something where you don't really go onto a campus too much. But yeah, I feel like um, the rest of Sagittarius season and Sag rules higher education wants you to truly ponder how could I not waste my time and get what I want. So the two aspects of Sagittarius mutable sign is one side becomes the professor and one side says F school, I'm traveling the world, I'm going to have real world experience, right? So I feel like you guys are between that duality and you're trying to figure out which one works for you. Half of this group, you're like, no, nah, I'm going full diploma. That's important to me. I want that documentation. I want that paperwork. It just means something to me. You're going to keep going back no matter what obstacle goes, and you're going to freaking get that. You might be trying to do it for somebody else. Like maybe you felt like people sacrificed for you or something. You're like, I'm getting that. I'm getting two diplomas, right? One for mom and dad, <laughs> maybe three, one for grandparents, right? Um, so that's cool. But then on the other side, I feel like some of you are going to say no. Like I've realized throughout this year that I want to change this up, but some maybe there's some um, melancholia or you're unsure about just saying let me let that go for now and start what I know I could be successful at and just go for it go for what I really want over here prepare myself start you know making gains that I can put away for you know family and everything that I want to have and my path I want to have and then I can go back to the drawing board and maybe you know with all of this that's maneuvered if you really look through things you would see that there's a much more accommodations for you to level up to study for the promotions you want to um, have positions that are open now different things like that so yeah and that's what I get from this I'm just gonna encourage you I'm going so long on this <laughs> Girl. it's like an eclipse new moon what am i gonna do okay so charms for those who chose group a the rest of sagittarius season okay yeah definitely going back to the drawing board because we have this like covered wagon with taurus and aries here which is like the very beginning like the the caveman part of the the natal chart right and we also have we're missing you guys look it's always significant when charms change though. So for now, we have no divination bubble on our, this was our scrying, our scrying table here. So you guys are having to search a little bit harder for your truth. You can feel a little disconnected from your, your spiritual guidance sometimes. And you're like, what is going on? Like, I feel like a little baby over here, help me. Someone help me, you guys are really missing friends. You could be missing a Pisces friend. Um, or have a very good Pisces friend that is coming through here. Um, yeah, we have a lot of that energy um <laughs> there could be a, an aquarius who's going to be very goofy to try to lighten your energy the rest of sagittarius season try to you might be like get out of here i'm being serious and they like, keep trying to come in and like shake you up and be like come on have a laugh have some fun oh good our video is done y'all so i can start um uploading it this is y'all's eclipse video yes yes let me click it through real quick um <laughs> Let's see, video, video, video. Okay, sorry, we gotta, YouTube has it, so we have to push four different screens to get it uploaded, but I wanna make sure we do so. 
because this is a long video. It's gonna take all day. It is so loud. Okay, sweet. Thank you. That's going. Why can't I hear this? Okay. There we go. We're back. I was like, the sound went off. What's going on? Hey, Sasha. Oh, hey, Maddie. You changed your channel's name. Oh, I was like, hey. Hey. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Super chat. Okay, or sticker. All right, okay. Let me, let's see. So, we have, yes, we have um, a rebirth of sorts. It's interesting because we have the first two babies of the Zodiac, but then we have the end of the Zodiac here. So, you guys could be getting some good information from, again, mentors or elders who are almost ready to, like, pass the baton. Um, it's, maybe someone has, like, uh, textbooks or they have their whole documentation of what they did in their field or they're finally to the point where you know those movies where someone's like come on come on uh, you know come on be my trainer be my trainer and the person like the one person's just ready to accept the retirement and so it's a perfect time for them to start training someone who's coming into that field there's that kind of um, energy all over this okay um, so let yourselves be the little fools let yourself be the little pages and um, have some fun you you could be going to the drawing board again on some um, spiritual things, some divination. But right now, your real insight comes through friends. It comes through those around you. It comes through um, young young people, like children. It comes when you're having fun and when you're laughing, your epiphanies. It doesn't come through seriousness. It doesn't, which is very Sagittarian season. You know, they, they think they're comedians. Sometimes they are. Um, there you could get information from reading and documentations and stuff like that but overall if you've been um really burnt out on like trying to read yourself and stuff have some fun right look we got some we got some fun going as well but you could have a lot of fey energy around you um there's someone that has the name l and we have f here that could be very significant for you at this time you could have a lot of eyes on you people watching you during sagittarius season so smile for the camera <laughs> they could be trying to see your pictures through a friend's profile okay or like a company profile so keep that in mind uh, some of you could be enjoying soccer or some uh, a person who um, maybe they they kind of drifted out of your life and maybe they come back even more polished and cleaned up they could be into football okay soccer um and they could be coming back around all right so make sure you take care of all your documentation group a during sagittarius season and i said taurus right taurus aries pisces aquarius that's what i'm seeing for you guys these are supposed to be a little quicker because i've done some <laughs> i've done like uh this is my third one i'm doing for sagittarius transits Changing it, but you're not French. Oh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's a charms ring. <laughs> yes, I like that they're showing your Dutch and Slovakian heritage. Love that. Okay. Do, 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 do. we did so much reading i didn't pull the the crystals or the fortune cards but these are in the eclipse reading so we'll do that there because otherwise these are just gonna be so long okay group two <laughs> if you chose aragonite okay aragonite let's go ahead and get yours we have sometimes the good is hidden Ooh, time to explore time to get curious curious what you give will come back that's something Sagittarius is very good at. We had to pull out the universal cards because Sag is so good at that vibe. Like, just throw it away. See if the universe brings it back. I bet you can get a Ferrari instead. Like, 
woo, right? Party, jump off the roller coaster. Um, they just, they're just wild like that, right? But they get blessings and they, they always get back more than they lose. So it's such good energy to learn during Sagittarius season. What you give will come back. And you don't even have to give for that reason because if you just let it go, bigger and better comes to you, right? Sometimes that's hidden. Sometimes we're like, well, why, why do I have to let go? I'm so sick of letting go, right? But it's that proverb, you can't get anything in your hand, you know, handed to you if your fist is closed. So sometimes you gotta just, okay, I don't know what it is. You cover my eyes. Is it a pickle or is it, you know, a lot of cash? I don't know. Um, but yeah, important information here. This looks like the new moon going on. So this eclipse um, going on could be hiding some blessings or the new moon behind the energy of the eclipse could be hiding some blessings too. So let's see what this is. There's sirens going on. Maybe you've been stressed. Maybe you've been feeling in tower situations. Um, you know, there's still a lot of scary things going on. Black lives still matter. They, you know what? I'm going to have to go out there and yell at them. If they turn, there's a an intersection right here. And sometimes, as if enough people aren't traumatized by those daggone sirens, they will turn their emergency sirens on just to get through this intersection right here. It makes, oh, ah. Okay, so you could have someone who's playing. All right, look. Look what came out here. Someone who's being shady, raising an alarm, being loud. Just, oh my gosh, it's an emergency. Your ex comes back, okay? It can be that kind of thing. You guys could have an um, ex friend coming back, acting like it's an emergency situation. Um, you know, they they their um, initial energy is that they want to win, okay? Now, I see good stuff, so we'll get to the good stuff. You have people who love you. But this is somebody who they don't like. Oof, ooh, I felt that in my gut. Okay, I'm like, let me grab a snowflake obsidian over here. They don't like to see people love you. That's point blank. That's the truth. Okay? Um, just here we go. In that case, let me help you out. <laughs> let me put some hearts on here for y'all. There you go. How about that? Okay, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for each of their shady spades. Holla. So literally, I felt that energy. Maybe they do a little root work or something, or there's someone who naturally has a very strong evil eye. That's ooh, that was stank. That's not good. So this person you will know who they are um some of their energy could be leo aries sag aquarius uh, libra gemini um you know that's possible we have all elements here though and it's a general read but whew, yeah so please recognize when this person comes they know you are such a loving person they know you're so caring you're so tender-hearted you have that you love the way an old soul does regardless of your soul age or whatever you that's something you're very good at is your emotional intelligence and so this person is very immature and yes they probably have some things that were messed up in their life there's probably probably a really you know important reason why they are the way they are but the fact is i'm feeling like this is one who's grown okay this this person has grown and they want to come around they're probably jealous of the attention you give your children they're jealous of the attention you give your dogs they're jealous of the attention you give anybody who who is actually deserving of um care and input um they are you know they don't like you to be in partnerships you might realize that every time you're around this person all of your partnerships and friendships end and this isn't someone who they end because you recognize through a good friendship that the other people were toxic this is because this person sabotages and then they might even go behind your back and try to buddy with the people they sabotaged you from afterwards because they were all shady um they just realized wait you're bottom feeding i'm a bottom feeder too we can't both eat so that's why they pointed them out or they said, Shh, you're going to, it's like one thief saw the other thief at the ball trying to steal everyone's truth. They said, get out of here. You're going to give us away. <laughs> you're on my game. This is my heist. That's why they did that. They didn't actually care. They was trying to protect the cake. Okay. They're like, that's my wedding cake. I'm about to steal. Um, so watch out for this person during Sagittarius season group two. We have a lot of love here though. We do again have this energy. People making babies, okay? People making babies. So you could hear about someone in the family um, or in your soul family, people who are like family to you, really close to your heart are pregnant. There could be, it could be they just had like one or two kids and boom, here comes another one. Um, you know, another one comes. So yes, and I feel like they might, they might even make a joke like we're gonna cap it at four, okay? This is, 
<laughs> all right so it could be right around there three or four kids um and that's gonna be really good news i see your savings doing well i'm seeing um your friends that care about you and love you celebrate you so much and be very protective of you find where you're working your hours um make sure your boss and co-workers are treating you well make sure you're are you having your health protocols is everything all right you know how's it going things of that nature so there can be a lot of security and just love there. Number 34 could be significant as can 10. Sevens are a reminder to look out for that shady person. Their name could be J. It could start with the J, um, the shady person. Or they could have Y or I in there, maybe like Yolanda or um, something like that, Ireland. Um Yes, okay. So let's go ahead and see. Family energy, friendship energy, really, really, really good, okay? I feel like you're going to have that energy where you can foresee happy endings again if you felt disconnected from that. So let's go ahead and get some dominoes. For those who chose to be free for the rest of Sagittarius season. Okay. One more? Okay. I couldn't get them all because my nails, so those came out together, though. Oh. Okay, first of all, first of all, look at you stunting. Okay, first of all, fours and sixes. You got the double six. Okay, we know how important important that is in dominoes and in soulmate connections. Okay, your soulmate is on the table. Like your big soulmate. Like your relationship. Like you doing that. Okay. Um, don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's over here. It hasn't yet fully come into manifestation, but you're building and working, building and working on yourself, and you you call this situation here. So don't be afraid to continue to build your energy alone. Yeah, because look at over here. So your pieces are a little bit mixed up. Sometimes you get overwhelmed. You get scattered and drained. Look at scattered and drained by others. Okay. Part of your energy that you're learning is how to love people closely around each other okay because you might have the habit to isolate people you love because you're afraid of group dynamics because when you're in group dynamics people take advantage third party situations develop and so you might be someone who if you start dating someone you kick all your friends away or if you get friends you stop dating things of that nature okay you feel like well if i have family i can't date but you have the ability to manifest a relationship partner out of nowhere. Like, it's, it's really, I would not even worry about that for yourself. Um, it's almost like you can manifest too many people. Then all of a sudden, everyone cares about you, and you got to make sure they're good quality. Otherwise, they're beefing, okay? You're really good at manifesting security, too. Um, some of you might do it through others in some way, like um, your connection to others, helps you manifest your security um some of you also you it's important to know how our manifestation works you guys tend to manifest better when you feel loved by others um what you want to work on right now is being able to do that for yourself even when there's not someone else there i was just thinking of this so that's probably why they brought it up to me is i'm like for instance i'm very good luck for others if i i have never had someone lose something if i um told them i would sit by them and be their good luck ever like people win cameras <laughs> casino ball games whatever they're doing okay i'm very good luck for others look pisces ruled by jupiter and sometimes i have to sit there and be like wait why am i not using this for myself like it's i when i believe in someone i believe in them like i don't doubt like if i tell you i know you can achieve something there's nothing in me in any particle of the universe timelines lifetimes whatever that doubts that like whatsoever right so it's like why don't i use that for myself sometimes right i'll be slipping up forgetting so you guys have that energy where you do so much for those you love or if you were to be in a relationship right now and there would be a financial need that came up you would manifest that work with it up you would have them taken care of the person you love but you don't always do that for yourself all right so that's a little bit of something that you can work on i don't feel like this is like you have to work on this or you can't be in a, a relationship no i just feel like you're kind of picking the pieces of your life together part of you still wants solitary time to be honest part of you is wanting boom i want the full thing right now with the relationship so you're kind of deciding but i think you kind of want time to really enjoy your career get your stability together get your health and success together you kind of do want that so i think you just have different parts of yourself that are trying to trying to decide exactly what to do okay 
Um, yeah, you're trying to find out how do I connect this. This was from this group, though. Um, you, now, another thing is you're super good at manifesting blockages out of nowhere. You cross your own roads like that, okay? Let's undo it. There we go. <laughs> you really do. So you got to watch yourself. And the thing is, you will cross your own roads because you will feel bad that other people might feel bad. And you think that they put something on you sometimes when they don't. Um, or you do this thing where, this is very Pisces too, man. We got six and six, 12th house. Um, you do this thing where you will feel like, well, other people want me to be unhealthy and tired and broke. So let me just make their wish come true. Like, you know, this is what people expect of me. So, you know, I guess I should make them right, you know? And it's almost like in a caring way that it's like, I guess I should just stay, you know, my, my ex don't want to see me looking good out here. You know, they don't want to see me happy. So there's kind of a subconscious programming of like over, overly niceness to the point it's just like too much. It's a Libra energy. It's almost like this people pleasing quality. So augmenting that i think um in sagittarius season helping to embolden you to, embolden you to get over that would be really really good because like i said you're stellar when it comes to manifesting you're someone who's meant to be very very uh, secure you're someone who can be very good at being alone without it having to be toxic you're someone that every form of relationship people are drawn to you like why don't we just get rid of this <laughs> that's how i feel okay so let's look into okay oh you can also pur purposely purposely subconsciously manifest some a person who is a blockage to mess up your own life so watch out doing that like you'll be like oh this friend group is great let me manifest someone and bring them in who i know is not the one like i, I know that i shouldn't oh, i shouldn't bring them home right <laughs> i know this is the stray animal that's gonna bite me i already know they want to be wild leave them alone um that kind of vibe so watch out for doing that um for looking for like the weak point or trying to find someone to triangulate the situation and then being like, ah, oh, see, it can't work. Um, you don't have to have that cycle going. Okay, charms for those who chose group two to that season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And me, look, me, 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 me. It's time for it to be about me. So that could be something you have to tell people. We have Taurus and Aries again, so people are feeling very stubborn very very stubborn we do have mars um you know very prominent here um today on the transits and throughout sagittarius season we have taurus uranus and taurus um is big we have needing to clear your energy and needing to know to get what you want to um be commanding in your life to know that you can manifest look from the button from just a little old raggedy to the cinderella over here okay you guys might need to be a little bit more athletic get out there take care of yourself um and your health okay someone we have meg here maybe be listening to meg the stallion i don't know um but that could be somebody's name we have m f e g okay we have messages coming through this could be coming through from someone who has an f name or there's some kind of word that's significant maybe they're from fargo or something um it, yeah we have we have it could be a phone call and a message coming through for them um for some of you they could be black <laughs> With, this loves to come up it said look i'm the black be black i'm gonna come out all the time i love it <laughs> here i am um so that one in the um the london one always want to come out uh, look proud okay there we go so we have also yeah heart to heart messages there's some kind of heart to heart messages this can also be sagittarian energy here um with this turquoise um really working on health uh it's kind of like know how to balance your health a bit better because some of you want to really overindulge and then you have to work out more or something of that nature or you're not you're just like i can't work out because i have to work out more so therefore i won't work out so therefore i will eat something <laughs> it's like wait that's not right math <laughs> that's not health math so you guys are feeling very stubborn you're feeling very stubborn to be honest um, and kind of like you got a temper with a punch to back it up. Um, sensual pursuits, Venus and Mars are doing a lot for you. You could be feeling very spicy. Maybe you could take and play some games there. Okay. <laughs> but look, don't be coming getting someone raggedy. All right. Somebody who just is trying to stay in your Cinderella carriage for the night until midnight, whatever they can get. No. <laughs> look, just using that fairy godmother's dust. 
okay, we don't need it. We don't need it. All right, so yes, there could be a phone call from um, somebody who is Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Sagittarius that's very significant. So that's what I'm seeing for y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. I could just keep reading these, y'all. There's so much information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, let's see. How's everybody doing? <laughs> okay, where's my... My thing's always buffering now. I think you can hear me. Um, group three, if you chose the lithium course, this is group three. Am I still buffering? Y'all, I've been uppity up, up, up. I've been so energized by this transit right now. I've been reading and doing stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a minute. Let me get back to the chat. How you doing? How's everybody feeling? Hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> Don't get burnt out. I have to take some naps, all this energy. If you feel very sensitive, you might not want to go out with the energies or put something on your head. Take care of your head. Okay. You too. Why are you buffering? I fixed it. They're very sleep. Really, you know what? Let me just exit this and come back because they're playing. Yeah, I was so happy though because usually transits mess um, with electronics more for me and the entire long long video like it had a pause because I had to um, you know offload so the, the content because it was very long a few times but it did not like mess up once it was brilliant okay there we go Sorry, YouTube. You can hear the music buffering. That's YouTube. The other pages are fine. There we go. Hey, Rika Rock. It's submitting your last assignment today. Oh, wait, it moved. Oh my gosh, complete. Congratulations. Wow, and this year, achieving that, that's huge. Well done. Okay, group three, lithium quartz, Sagittarius season, the rest of it, what's going on? There's a deeper reason for each of your questions. Seek it, very Sagittarian, the seekers for sure. Um, you know what to do. So you know that you have questions, curiosity, doubts about things for a right reason. Um, seek, follow it, follow the, follow the trail. Okay. Follow the trail and let yourself find the truth about things. And then you'll know what to do. Um, sometimes we sit there and say, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what's the answer. But if we just followed up on our hunches, we would see, oh, this is the, the path to Candyland, And that's the path to the wish that's going to eat me. Like, <laughs> Why well, they gotta do witches like that? You know what I mean? But it, it's like, oh, okay, now I know what to do. So they're like, uh, you know, kind of clarify your hunches more. Um, allow yourself to fully dive into your wisdom. Don't block your third eye. Don't block your common sense, okay? <laughs> Don't block your common sense. So let's see what we got. We have the Queen of Stars. Loved it so much. We have the Four of uh, Clubs. We have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Clubs, the Nine of Clubs. Um... If you are black, this can be easily tanto, okay, this combo coming through. Um, but you can have, a, uh, for everybody, it could be a deity or ancestor coming through that is uh, 
maternal but very warrior like at the same time okay so um see who that connects with for your traditions or your ancestors okay this could be you um you did something on an altar for them or you've been thinking about doing that so they would be receptive to that okay um you've been trying to get through some severe trauma and blockages you're trying to clear your blockages you're trying to do some kind of cut and clear it's been really intense you felt very vulnerable um so this message is more just like a spiritual like hey you know we got something to say they're saying go ahead do those prayers those offerings those rituals whatever it is um because we hear you some of you are thinking about calling in a very intense ancestor or um it's feminine identified deity, okay? Uh, spiritual force that you want to call in. And you're like, okay, you only call this one in when you're really ready to clean up the mess, okay? And when you're really ready to, you need, um, you might need help. I even heard vengeance. So this is like serious ones, okay? Mars is aspecting this new moon, which is new moon is the masculine feminine energies balanced equals, right? Um, and Mars is aspecting that. So they're saying they are ready to come through. If you're ready for that and you're serious about that, ask them to come through and they will help you okay they will help you um because you do have some stuff that is hard for you to move by yourself um it, it's very overwhelming so i say you know what to do like seek the answers to your questions they're like you're asking me petition me like come and talk to me be about it help let me be about it for you okay so let's see um in the real world there can also be um it could be an air sign libra gemini aquarius i'm also getting a very scorpio vibe for sure that is here okay fours we got four 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 so some of you said oh that sounds scary they said does it sound scary or are you being a little bit colonized right now Let's check the programming because we're here in all good energy we're here in peace we're here in rejoicing we're here to help okay you could also have cues be significant. No, not that uh, conspiracy that makes this a little true because a whole bunch of propaganda. Um, but this could be um, Quentin. Uh, I don't know why I got Curel, but with a Q, y'all. What you name? <laughs> what you name the baby? 2020. You said, oh, all the sanitizer. Let me name you Curel. Let me stop. Okay, so there is some humor here. There's some sarcasm here. You could have someone though who has, you know, a very creative name that you say, oh, wow, <laughs> but they come through to help. You might say, oh, no, child, what's, the, what's this? No, are you playing me? But they end up being someone really awesome you meet. You might meet them online, and they're going to be like heaven sent kind of person. Maybe you've already met them. Um, okay, Ten of Cups. So a lot of love from your ancestors. You're meant to be happy. You're meant to feel peace. You're meant to have success. You're meant to have a secure home. They, they also are connecting with nines for you, so they don't want this trauma for you. They're saying it's not karma. That's the message there, too. It is not karma, what's going, been going on for you. You're meant to end this year happy. You're meant to be safe and secure and successful. Okay, you're meant to take those opportunities of the Four of Cups. You're meant to have the rest of the Four of Swords. You're meant to have the joy, the sheer freaking joy of making your life happiness of Four of Wands. You're meant to have the savings of the Four of Pentacles. All right. This is kind of like um, spirit level Empress energy too, because it's like all of the queens together, but then, then some. It's like the Empress and the High Priestess together. Okay. So let's see. I just want to pull more of the cards on you guys. They said to leave behind the bickering. If you're always waiting for a certain person, like, oh, what, what's something shady they're going to say back? Or, you know, I, I commented to the trolls. What are the trolls going to say back on social media? Or what, you know, how's this coworker going to come at me? They're saying, let that go. They don't want you um, holding that mindset mindset your your mind is an altar as well um choose what you put on it to them and if there's a problem they're kind of saying be about it like let's put on the big panties if you wear them if not let's run naked in the woods on the old school <laughs> on the old school witching okay and let's handle it let's spear handle it we woo woo are we not that's the, that's your spirit cruise attitude are we not magical are we not powerful why are we concerned about them handle them and leave it alone that's it all right have control of your mind and power over your mind in this regard okay mm -hmm. 
yeah there's also a younger um younger spirit or energy here this could be connected to this for example azili danto is always with her child so it could be that kind of combination okay um this can also be like you know a lot of traditions there's one spirit you petition before you talk to the rest of them so this could be like the magician um mercurial messenger kind of um spirit um, or a younger spirit that's coming through as well for some of you it will be someone that you are connected to so they're really with you um, this could be for some of you a spirit that was connected to someone who was a fire sign especially a male identified fire sign leo aries sag okay um there could be something there maybe you guys haven't heard them come through in a message before and you will during this time um but they are safe and they are well for those of you that it was a spirit that crossed over okay so let's look at your dominoes and your other readings mm -hmm. thank you for hitting the like y'all we're doing our Sagittarius season reading. Oh, I put all the cards up for that, but we're doing our Sagittarius season reading. Here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, now. Okay, now. Finally, we have a full connect and two and two and two is six so some of you are polyamorous and that's going to be good for you um if you have a unique relationship it doesn't mean that it has to be a situationship just because everyone else doesn't understand it i see consenting healthy relationships that are really good okay some of you might be worried about a partner because you're like well they've been married before or they um they you know yeah they, they've really loved someone before but for it, they're a healthy person so just like if you had loved someone before it doesn't mean that you are less worthy or just like if you have a child it doesn't mean that you you and your child are unworthy to be in a healthy connection don't judge this person by their history okay by their oh how many people have you you know slept with kissed dated how many crushes did you have that kind of thing um spirit doesn't really look like that because spirit thinks in experience right like the whole point of us being here is to experience so and it's sagittarius season you know sag ain't judging okay because they're the ones doing all the stuff <laughs> they might still talk about people but um anyways so this is um a connection that has waited many many lifetimes okay and now it's like you have like maybe your style personally was to wait for this person but their style was to have love every time that it came to them so they might have experienced multiple soulmates okay or you might have experienced multiple soulmates you might have experienced the marriage and then feel like okay that one was done and that was beautiful and that was great so i feel like this partner could be someone who could be understanding like if you had a beautiful marriage and you're still friends with that person this person would actually understand that they're like yeah i get it like you guys loved each other like that part of your relationship is truly done but you guys are friends now so this is really really healthy energy here when it comes like higher level understanding and relationships that a lot of people won't get because they'll feel too insecure to try to love someone like that so i think that's really beautiful um and for some of you i do think you'll just be experiencing or witnessing someone who has a connection like that and it could be very stunning to you you might feel like oh, is this awkward i don't know what to do i've never seen something like this but it's actually going to be a beautiful learning lesson that your spirit crew really wants you to witness to expand your ideas of love and like destigmatize judgments on other people's relationships when they have very beautiful consenting adult relationships okay um yes yeah because some of you are nervous because you're like no because then everyone third parties <laughs> and you're worried you're just so so worried about it these uh, came up in the first one i think too some of this this combo in a different way but these two um there's something okay another option here is for those of you who are still connected with a lot of people you've known for a while you might end up marrying someone that your friend or someone close to you dated like it could have been they were the couple for like the longest time maybe they had their ins and outs and they had their mistakes and stuff that happened um and you just kind of did your own thing and maybe had you know a partnership or two or something and then you guys end up getting together and get married and it might seem awkward at first and you might really debate it like i don't know if my stability is worth all of this i don't know if my sanity is worth all this because i don't know how this is 
is gonna go. But we have 369 <laughs> and you find a hey, one more time. But I think it's gonna work, especially with this backup energy of this higher level, because it's you're not doing it in a messy way, it's through higher understanding that you're starting to see that sometimes relationships just unfold in strange ways. Um, and I feel like there's this contentedness where one party might step back and go into an enlightenment phase of themselves and feel like, no, this is like a namaste moment for me. Like, I get it. Like, I'm done with this connection. And I totally get and can bless how you guys are going to move on in a, in a connection, okay? But you might really think about it. <laughs> You might be like, okay, how will this affect my bank account? Everything, okay? I need to have lawyers on deck. If everyone gets wild in this situation, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, you were the one who dated a lot of people, and you're like, yeah, it got messy. It got real messy, okay? And they just went and married one person. They were together for, you know, all this time since high school or whatever. But so whatever side it is, that's another energy option for you guys. <laughs> Now, another um, option I'm getting is also make sure that you don't uh, envision that once you, not that you don't think positively, but don't assume that when you have a partner, suddenly everything's fixed, right? And it's just perfect because partners bring their own baggage and they bring their own blockages too. And they bring, um, and it's not in a horrible way. It's like you, the, no amount of manifesting is going to keep humans from being human. Like, we're not just going to live in freaking Stepford Town. Like, everything's fine. Hi, Mr. Rogers. Like, we're not going to be robots. Like, <laughs> you know, people are going to be human. They're going to come with mistakes. They're going to come with weak points. And um, I think that's important for you guys to realize and understand because you guys could be someone who you're actually brilliant and surrounded by soulmates. But you're like, nope. Nope, I can't believe, I can't believe this one forgot, forgets to pay a bill. I can't believe this one has dated someone before. I can't believe, like, there's always something where you just, like, throw a whole soulmate away. And everyone else, you're on, like, soulmate number 10. Everyone else is over here dry, just itching, okay, for a soulmate. You're just like, oh, no, I don't think so. I don't feel it. Let me try number 11. Let me try soulmate 11. That's the lucky number. It's master number. Um, so I'm not saying don't hold to your, your, um, um, standards. I, it's, I feel like I'm talking to Virgo energy here. Virgo, it's like, okay, Virgo, we're not saying don't have standards. We're saying don't be anal. Like, oh my gosh, like people are going to breathe through their nose. That's just what people do. They breathe through their nose, Virgo. You can't make, no, you can't make your spouse only breathe through their mouth their whole life. And they're like, no, I can because, and, no, Virgo, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop now. Uh, you can't make them blink different you know you have all this criteria just stop so I feel like you guys need to just chill out a little bit on the build a boo and just let people be human it's gonna free you up because you're gonna stop feeling so much anxiety of like I have to be sheer perfection and uh, you know I just never mind I'm never gonna marry or date during this lifetime okay so let's get your trying a lot going on for you guys during Sag season. All right, for the rest of Sag season, it's only a couple weeks over here, but y'all got so much information and insights. I feel like a lot of this is going to persist. You guys got a snowflake up. Sit. Look, I felt to put all of those on your reading, and you got it in your reading. All right, we have blessings and uh, gifts coming in, which is to be expected during holiday season. Ooh, we got my black lightning with the black panther fist pump okay yes okay social warriors we see you you can also be um dating someone who's you know very strong healthy yes i've been getting the age for healthy somebody who's super super healthy you could be looking you know tight and right we got virgo here with good health poppy seed energy with pisces so we have pisces and virgo you could be balancing having a good time and some indulgence with this hermit energy of being super healthy. You guys might go and get a trainer. Ooh, people are saying, uh-oh, New Year's is around the corner. You could be going to get a trainer. A lot of Pisces energy, though. A lot of Pisces. We have Scorpio. We have Taurus Libra. Um, look, you said, let me see how flexible I am. Let's look at Cancer energy here. So I think you guys are going to start working on... Um, yeah, getting healthy and okay, let me what have I done during 2020? We have the letter G. Um, you guys could be, yeah, just have a, a, a small goal of what you want to tone up, release. 
um, you might write it down and start doing planners and um, all that kind of stuff uh, calendars and things I'm also seeing okay listen to the song oh what's it called Hungry Hippo by Tira Wack okay she talks about diamond and pearl a ding did you how did it is it ding Oh my gosh, that's so funny because I think there's a ding on that song. But um, yes, anyways, I'll let you see the lyrics of that song. But yes, see how flexible she is, kind of like the cartwheel. So back then with the pearl, you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> Hungry Hippo is the name of that song. So H's could be significant as well. Um, you guys could be fertile at this time while you're stretching around your pearl and stuff. So keep that in mind, especially if you are indulging in some, um, you know, something that makes your mind a little cloudy, okay? <laughs> What else do we got? Yeah, but um, I think there could be some Virgo Pisces uh, placement connections and maybe um, there could be some Leo Scorpio connections coming through as well. Like someone could have Leo Scorpio placements, maybe connecting with someone who has Pisces Virgo or someone with uh, Pisces Scorpio with someone who has Leo Virgo or something of that nature. All right, that's done. <laughs> that's, that's the reading out. That is the general read. For the rest of Sagittarius season, pick a card. So I will probably um, re-up that one too. 